Hi guys, Boise here, and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to place ground units, both static and movable. Uh, we're going to use uh, the, the same map we've used for the other ones, so you can see the, the previous Blenheim raid sitting up there, but we don't need to worry about that for now. And of course we've got the, the 1 and 9 set up, that enables us to, to play the mission and get in and have a look. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to place some ships around below and off the coast here, uh, so we'll, we'll zoom in and uh, get a better view. Here we go. Now placing uh, the units is, is very similar to the aircraft, so you go to View, Object Browser, and you'll see here uh, all the choices you have. Now you have both ship for movable ships and, both, and also static ships. Now we're going to do static at first, so you select that and you've got your static ship. Once again you can you know, sort by country, I'm just going to go default and have the whole list here. And uh, we're going to stick a, a tanker down here. Uh, the same as the aircraft, you hold down left control and press the left mouse button. Boom, there it goes. Okay, you zoom in, you'll you'll see our tanker there. Now, they they will sort of come in at uh, a certain angle, but you can change that around, use the numpad. So the 7 key turns it that way, and the 9 key turns it that way. So you can sort of play about with it and have it facing a certain way. So we'll have him sort of like that there. Now the other thing you can do is change what side they belong to. It's default red on this particular ship, but we can change it to blue. Uh, and then we unselect. And there you have a medium tanker, static option facing that way for the uh, for the Germans. Um, simply to add another one, left control, left click. Yeah, he's facing the same way, which is fine. He'll always sort of remember your last one. And we'll change him to blue again. And that's it. Put another one in, facing the same way, change it to blue, that's it. So we'll do one more, and that's as straightforward as it is. Now there's no waypoints or anything to worry about because they are static options, they will just sit there. Okay, great, so we've got those guys there. Now what I'm going to do is also put in a ship that will move so you can see how that's done as well. So if we go to, uh, go to Object Browser, this time we'll choose Ship rather than Static Ships. Here we go. Oh, selected it wrong. There we are. Okay. And this time I'm going to choose this one here. And you can view it in, in 3D and this will provide some uh, defensive fire uh, for the static units. Again, the same as an aircraft and a static item. Left control, left mouse button. And then it'll uh, be there. Now, similar to the aircraft, you sort of set it waypoints and directions. So we'll just have him mooching around in a circle there. Again, you can choose a side. This one's defaulted to blue, and the waypoints is just normal, normal move. We don't want to do anything else. Uh, if there were to be any enemy aircraft in the area, it will fire upon them by default. And in fact, actually, we'll do that. We'll put a couple of aircraft in and show you that. But that's effectively it. Unselect, and there he is. So what we'll do is we'll put down another one for good measure. Left control, left click. Do him some waypoints, follow reasonably the same path, slightly slower because he's taking a wider angle and you can see here, these numbers here refer to what time, what ETA they'll be there which is quite handy for mission building, you can plan raids and build around that, either using triggers or just moving back their initial spawn point to, to fit the time you want. Um, so yeah, that's fine, uh, straightforward. Okay. So uh, what we'll do, uh, I'll play the mission and just show you that those ships are, are sitting there. So if we go play mission and uh, we can have a look at them. Okay, right, so uh, here you can see the four static aircraft just off the coast of Boulogne there. And we've got their uh, their escort there sailing around in uh, a nice wide circle looking after them. So there you go, that's effectively it. You've got four uh, statics there and you've got the moving ones there. And that applies to any any ground units really. It's a fairly sort of simple uh, simple way of doing it. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go back to the uh, map editor and we'll perhaps um, add some RAF to come and uh, bomb them and uh, and see what happens. Okay, so we're back at the uh, the map screen here, so uh, we've got all our bits set up. So let's uh, let's get some uh, RAF involved and, and see what uh, the reaction is to uh, them flying over. So as usual, view object browser, country, which we'll use this time. Okay, let's do some Wellingtons. Let's have some Wellingtons flying in. So I'll set their uh, initial waypoint here, the first one here, and then the second one. They can actually uh, attack the uh, the ship. So let's get them sort of here as the second waypoint, and then they can fly off down here for the third and fourth. 
Now we don't need to worry about script spawn or anything, they're just going to simply spawn in as the mission starts, which is fine. We just need to select the, the weapons for them, the bombs. Uh, we'll go here and select uh, select here. Quite a good bomb load on the Wellington, so you should see a few bombs fall. And we'll select three aircraft. So we've got three aircraft uh, going to hone in on here and, and drop bombs. Now, of course, we need to set the waypoint actions. So it's currently waypoint four. Let's go back to the first one. Normal flight, that's correct. Altitude 500, that's fine. Uh, action again, waypoint one, fine. Here we go, waypoint two, we want them to attack the target and we've put the, the ships as the target. Uh, waypoint three, normal flight. Uh, waypoint four, normal flight. Uh, you can also change the detonators, but they're, they're fine as they are, to be honest, on this one. Okay, good. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, unselect them, close this box, and we'll play the mission again, and uh, hopefully we should have three Wellingtons coming in and uh, the uh, defensive uh, fire reacting to it. Let's uh, have a look and see if it works. Okay, so we've uh, loaded the mission and we're now in uh, external view looking at the Wellingtons bearing down on the shipping. Now you'll see uh, as they come in they'll uh, very slightly adjust to get on course. Here we are. Make sure they don't hit each other. That's close. Okay, so we've got some flak going off here. That will be from coastal guns, not from these ships quite yet. God, that was close. Okay, right, so they're uh, they're on their uh, bomb run now by the looks of it. Jetsons it bombs already because it's been damaged and hit. So we've lost one already. Never mind anyway, the, the principle sounds so we've uh, got three aircraft bearing down on the, the ships and we want to see how the uh, ships react to that. And that flag's quite uh, quite accurate. Okay, so two remaining. I'm just going to speed this up just a little bit. Okay, so you can see uh, there the, uh, the ships are opening fire on the uh, on the Wellingtons, and that was without sort of telling them to do so. It's just a default action. They'll uh, they'll send up defensive fire. So it's going to watch these bombs come in. See the accuracy there. That one's getting hammered. Yep, he's down. Okay, this one has dropped his bombs. Let's see if he gets them on target or not. It's not close. Nope. Oh, yep, nope, good hit. Okay, so uh, the RAF didn't, uh, didn't get out of that one in uh, good shape, but uh, it was just to demonstrate anyway uh, what they'll do, so uh, you can see what's happened there. Uh, perhaps just one uh, one escort would have done for the ships. Uh, bear in mind, <laughs> all three Wellingtons have been shot down. 